Good evening and welcome to all of you who've joined me this evening in evening prayer. As I walked in, I thought there's a few more steps for Cafod. Um, as you probably know, the three of us clergy are walking for water, which is the appeal of the Cafod this Lent. Uh, what we're supposed to commit to is 10,000 steps per day for every day in Lent. And uh, as I walked in, and I'm going to walk out again, they all add, they all add up, every step you take. Um, I'm not quite up with my colleagues yet, because um, I've had uh, lots of things which have kept me to base, but they have been walking to our more distant churches. Uh, it'll be my turn um, later on, because uh, I haven't been able to do that. I had to drive there, because I've had the um, emergency call-out phone from the hospital and it wouldn't be done if that went off in the middle of a long walk and I had to walk back before responding. So uh, that's got me off the hook for a little while, but not for much longer. Anyway, we're doing uh, reasonably well. Um, we could do with a bit more backup, but um, never mind, we are walking cheerfully. Um, we're not walking on water, we're walking for water. That would be rather presumptuous. This evening, once again, we join thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people all around the world who are saying their daily offices, all the hours of the day, morning prayer, mid-morning, noon, mid-afternoon, evening prayer, night prayer, the office of readings, all those things are in this book we call the breviary. It's anything but brief because it's in three volumes. Um, we're on the uh, second volume now of this year which started in Advent. But the main thing is we come and this book gives us the prayers to stream up towards heaven, to thank God for the blessings he's given us this day, to ask for his protection and to see us forward into the future, into the, the right ways, the, the ways he wishes us to walk, the things he wants us to say and do for the spread of his kingdom. As usual, we will commence with the Angelus, then in the middle of the Vespers, uh, when we complete the Vespers intercessions, I will offer your intercessions that you have sent into the office uh, by telephone or email today. Add those to the list. And I will light a candle for each one of those as we go through. At the end of that, the Vespers, it'll be a simple blessing. And then we'll have one decade of the Rosary. And being Thursday, it is the luminous, or the mysteries of light, the luminous mysteries, and I've chosen the baptism of Christ, the first luminous mystery, as Christ was baptized by John the Baptist in the River Jordan. Christ didn't need to be baptized, unlike us, but he had to go through that because that was his own proclamation of who he was, or rather God's proclamation of who he was, before he commenced his ministry. And if you remember, he commanded his disciples to go out and to baptize all nations in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And that's where we get our, our basic qualification as Christians. We believe in him, we're baptized into his death and into his resurrection. And through that baptism, that enables us, when this mortal life is finished, with the help of God's grace, to go to where we've aimed to go as Christians, to be in his presence forevermore. So let us call to mind that he is present with us now. We are already in his presence, not that perfect presence, but the presence through his Holy Spirit that he's given us, the comforter. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glories of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord, Amen. And the hymn I'm using for Vespers is one of the alternatives from the appendix um, at the back of the breviary. O God, creator of us all. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O God, creator of us all, from whom we come, to whom we go, you look with pity on our hearts, the weakness of our wills you know. Forgive us all the wrong we do and purify each sinful soul. What we have darkened, heal with light, and what we have destroyed, make whole. The fast by law and prophets taught, by you, O Christ, was sanctified. Bless all our penance, give us strength to share the cross on which you died. O God of mercy, hear our prayer. With Christ your Son and Spirit blessed, transcendent Trinity in whom created things all come to rest. O Lord, I cried to you for help, and you have healed me. I will thank you forever. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me, and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, I cried to you for help, and you, my God, have healed me. O Lord, you have raised my soul from the dead, restored me to life from those who sink into the grave. Sing psalms to the Lord, you who love him. Give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts a moment, his favor all through life. At night there are tears, but joy comes with dawn. I said to myself in my good fortune, nothing will ever disturb me. Your favor had set me on a mountain fastness. Then you hid your face and I was put to confusion. To you, Lord, I cried. To my God, I made appeal. What profit would my death be, me going to the grave? Can dust give you praise or proclaim your truth? The Lord listened and had pity. The Lord came to my help. For me, you have changed my mourning into dancing. You remove my sackcloth and clothe me with joy. So my soul sings psalms to you unceasingly. O Lord, my God, I will thank you forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Lord, I cry to you for help, and you have healed me. I will thank you forever. Happy the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt. Happy the man whose offense is forgiven, whose sin is remitted. O happy the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, in whose spirit is no guile. I kept it secret and my frame was wasted. I groaned all day long, for night and day your hand was heavy upon me. Indeed, my strength was dried up, 
as by the summer's heat. But now I have acknowledged my sins, my guilt I did not hide. I said I will confess my offence to the Lord, and you, Lord, have forgiven the guilt of my sin. So let every good man pray to you in the time of need. The floods of water may reach high, but him they shall not reach. You are my hiding place, O Lord. You save me from distress. You surround me with cries of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will give you counsel with my eye upon you. Be not like horse and mule, unintelligent, needing bridle and bit, else they will not approach you. Many sorrows has the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, loving mercy surrounds him. Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord, exult you just. O come, ring out your joy, all you upright of heart. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Happy the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt. The Lord has given him power and honor and empire, and all peoples will serve him. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who are and who were, that you have taken your great power and begun to reign. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged, for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great. Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, they have loved not their lives unto death. Rejoice then, O heaven, and you that dwell therein. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord has given him power and honour and empire, and all people will serve him. I break for a moment as is an emergency call from the hospital. Thank you. A reading from the letter of James. Be God's true subjects. Stand firm against the devil and he will run away from you. Come close to God and he will come close to you. You that are sinners must wash your hands clean. You that are in two minds must purify the intention of your heart. Humble, you, humble yourselves before the Lord and he will exalt you. I said, Lord, have mercy on me, we repeat. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. 
My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Amen. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. Let us pray to Christ the Lord, who gave us the new commandment to love one another. Lord, may your people grow in love. Good Master, teach us to love you in our fellow men and women. Teach us to serve you in our brothers and sisters. Lord, may your people grow in love. You interceded with the Father for those who nailed you to the cross. Help us to love our enemies and pray for those who injure us. Lord, may your people grow in love. Through the mystery of your body and blood, deepen our courage and faith. Strengthen the weak, comfort the sorrowful, and fill the dying with new hope. Lord, may your people grow in love. Light of the world, you gave sight to the man born blind. Enlighten men and women in baptism through the washing in water and the word of life. Lord, may your people grow in love. Grant to the dead your everlasting love. Count us among the chosen of God. Lord, May your people grow in love. Now offer the prayers that you have asked us to and light a candle for each one. We give thanks today for um, Isabella Basinski's successful cancer operation yesterday and Joe asked us to pray for Lil Smythe for her 26th birthday tomorrow and we pray for all couples trying to rearrange weddings at this difficult time and we continue to pray for the success of the diocesan mission which meets tonight over zoom throughout the whole diocese we pray for those who are sick. Betsy asks us for prayers for Ben, who has suffered a bereavement. For Martin, booked in for cancer operation. And also Michael, who has been on chemotherapy for over a year. We continue to pray for Father David Osborne and his wife Helen for her full recovery. For the healing of Bernie Allwright following a second hip operation this week. For Father Brian Taylor in his time of sickness and for his wife Hilary. And Tom asks us to pray for Jim Oxley suffering from a stroke. Emma asks us to include Mary Ann Maglipon for healing. 
and Denise for her brother-in-law, Richard Simons, who had a cancerous kidney removed. For all those who are sick, especially those in hospital and those suffering long-term conditions following the COVID infection. And I include the person for whom I've just been called out tonight and will go to at the end of this liturgy. Yasmin asked for prayers for Ellen Edith Henry, her grandmother, on the anniversary of her death, a good, kind and humble servant of the Lord, she says. We pray for the repose of the soul of Zara Nudali on this, the anniversary of his death, and also for Zarina and Leili Dali. And ask us to light a candle for Dr. Helen Foley, whose funeral was this week, a parishioner and valued member of the disabled young community in Guildford. And Emma asks us to pray for the repose of the soul of Piwi Tejonera. Jocelyn asks us to pray for the soul of Selina Kulas and all dismem deceased members of the Kulas family. Also for the soul of Dawn Fernandez. We pray for the souls of all the clergy who have served this diocese. Today we pray for the soul of Father Michael Reynolds, who died in 2007. And we continue to pray for all the recently deceased, as well as for their families. As our Saviour taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. In your bounty, Lord, give us the spirit who alone can teach us to think and do what is right, so that we who without you cannot exist may live in loving obedience to your will. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now have one decade of the rosary, the luminous mystery, the baptism of Christ. We remember that baptism is one of the themes of Lent. And so this is particularly important, that the waters of baptism flow through to the Eucharist. As Jesus came up out of the water, God said, this is my chosen son, my beloved son, on whom my favor rests. And you remember the heavens opened. Some heard that voice as thunder, others heard it distinctly. And the dove, or the Holy Spirit, flickered down, whether it was a real dove or not. It's been described as a dove, so... Something shimmering, flickering came down from heaven. That same Holy Spirit was described in the Acts of the Apostles as tongues of fire alighting on everyone's head. Probably something golden, shimmering, flickering. Who knows? It's just human interpretation of a very real event. And so we contemplate that now as we say this one decade of the rosary and we ask Our Lady to intercede for us that all of us who are baptized and joined to Christ through his baptism and his death and resurrection we may come to see him in eternal glory our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of your mercy. Ave Regina Celorum, Ave Domina Angelorum, Salve Radic, Salve Porta, Ex Que Mundo Lux Est Lorta, Gaude Virgo Glorioso, Super Omnes Specioso, Vale O Valde Decora, Et pro nobis Christum exora. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 